welcome. Welcome back to Baby Bakes. I am the Baby Bakes Kool Aid, and I am baked. <laughs> and we are here on the couch with Ramona Slick and Denali Fa. Yay! Yes. What's up, the girl Denali? Hey. How are y'all today? We're great. Hi. I am feeling very high. Yes. Good. These bars, thank you so much, Ramona, for these delicious. Of course, a labor yes. of love. They are delicious. So, delicious. Make sure that y'all get that recipe and get those. Mm -hmm. Now that we ate that, we're going to segue into a segment called She Ate That, where we watch some of your most iconic moments where you eat up the girls. Let's get into it. Let's start with Ramona. Ramona. Yes. Yeah. Big city queen. Oh, I'm already excited. Mm. Oh, one of my favorite digital drag numbers. Oh, thanks. Yes! Okay. yes. So tell us your inspiration from this. My inspiration is that Prince is just my favorite musician of all time. I absolutely love him so much and I love everything he stands for. He's you know, fluid with his gender expression. He's very comfortable in his sexuality. He was an incredible musician, played, I think, 25 instruments, wrote all of his own music. His catalog is crazy. Like, there's n nothing to criticize, truly, when it comes to Prince. So, ultimately, that's my biggest inspiration. I also used to dance to this song at the strip club. So, I've had a lot of lived experience of my darling Nikki fantasy, so I wanted I to just, it. yeah. And the, and the choice of being purple, is that is that something new to you? It is not. I originally started as a purple queen. Um, uh, my purple. original like name that I was going to go by was Ultraviolet, because I was oh. just going to be like all purple all the That's time. That's a cute name, though. Thank you, thank you. It lasted, oh, and then I just started getting booked under like my work name, and mm. so I was just like, oh. Okay, I can stick with this too. So, so good. Yeah. <gasps> the hand, oh, the hand choreo. Oh, you everything. know. Everything. It's one of these Miles. COVID, yeah, Miles is the one that's um, more comfortable reaching towards my tit. You can yes. Who's the other one? It was Miles' roommate. So, oh, I love yeah. that. And Jay for Pay Earrings, I would like yeah. to just illustrate. Yes. Oh. I think just like a main element of my drag has just become like self-obsessed. I just really love myself and I love flirting with myself. That's just, hot. Like, in my drag. I love you should do the. Like... <laughs> I mean, like I've done it here. I've done it with my um, bimbo photo shoot. I like have it in like other instances coming up. Ah, oh, yes. the reveal. We yeah. weren't ready. You edited this too, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. I, incredible. Um, I have a lot of. Experience in like film editing, yeah. and so it's one of my favorite process. Uh, it's so it's good. Before yeah, the yeah. For years, I used Final Cut Pro since high school. It's my favorite part about the digital drag um, process. Actually, I love just like sitting for ten hours straight and just like going into like a tunnel. It's you know. so good. Thank you. I'm in a tunnel right Thank now. You. It's just so fun. You can just like. You can really just play along with the song so much, and I always just notice really good editing and like other work. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ramona Slick, you ate that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank what you. was your favorite part of making that video? <laughs> My favorite part, um, I mean, obviously, other than the editing, was I really loved my purple look because I usually when I um, paint myself purple, it's very very high femme and I use usually playing around with like Madonna whore complex like <laughs> dichotomies you know because I like playing up like the housewife idea but mm. that was one of the first times I had ever played it more androgynous and I just felt mm, there's so many mm, different facets good gender to your moments. Drag. Yes. you have yeah. so many different brands that you that why not so well you know why what? not thank you you ate that thank you, you ate that <laughs> Okay, now let's see the time that Denali ate. Yes. So cold. I can only imagine. Yeah. Okay, so I hear that you hiked. Two I hours hiked today? two hours down a mountain in full drag, padded in that costume with the hair done, glued down, everything, lashes, and then filmed on the ice for four hours, and then got out of drag, 
hiked back uphill on an incline for what took three hours in altitude. Baby, why do you like pain so much? <laughs> I think it's my problems with my mother. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is sickening. This is so, so gorgeous. gorgeous. Thank you. So I honestly, okay, so I don't know anything about skating, period. But I was really nervous because a I lot of people were saying that in the comments. I see yeah. all these like scratches. Is that normal to have all these like cuts and scratches? Those were either like, done by nervous. me because it's, it's otherwise a clean slate oh, usually okay. naturalized it's like completely untouched uh -huh. the the big cracks in there those are there but those You're not nervous that those are gonna break? no uh so laura kotlowski who i who i collaborated with this on this video this is her job this is her actual profession to scout frozen lakes and to research them and skate on them and stuff like that she's also an ice skater uh -huh. and so she does all the research she already knows where all of the locations are and as long as there's four inches of solid ice you can walk on it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, Doesn't that not seem like that much? Like and get this, at six inches, you can drive on it. That's not no way. Yeah, I don't trust literally. And she's she's been working in this industry for like, I don't know, six or seven years, has never fallen in. That's great. In all of her life. I'm happy for her. That's but crazy. a lot of people that recreationally go, uh -huh. do fall in sometimes. No! Because <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. I just love this velvet on you as well, this blue velvet. Yeah, so Josh Wanaponte so made this costume, obviously inspired by like the Mugler that everyone is wearing right now and Dua Lipa and things like that. But after he saw a lot of people recreating it, he was like, how can we make it our own? Let's change the color, make it more earth toned. Let's put these Elsa Ice Queen like hardware vibes on it. Um, and I think it turned out really good, so. Yeah, I really love it. Thank you. Oh, that shot. I know, the slow motion shot. How do you not get dizzy? Yeah, y'all don't spot oh, either. Oh, <laughs> little baby. This was an oh, idea that I brought I to. Is an idea that I brought to Mason, like as we were preparing. All this. <laughs> <laughs> I had an Elvis Bring number. Okay, it was really cute. Bitch. Yes, Ash. Yes. Thank you. Denali, girl, you ate that. What Thank was your favorite you. part of that number? <laughs> I mean, skating on frozen like natural body of water is the most freeing experience you'll ever have so even just to feel that sense of freedom especially in a year that was so <laughs> isolated and quarantined yeah. yeah it was really nice and um yeah it was really cool and then obviously the clips at the end um it was a nice kind of way because the whole thing is a love letter to myself it's just a celebration of me yeah and it was almost like a way to kind of like remember where i came from or whatever so i love it i love it thank, well, thank you. you so much right. and Ollie, once again bitch you ate that Thank you. <laughs> Are y'all ready to play a game? Yes, yes, I love games. Please. It's time for the Puff Puff pageant. Yo, oh, 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 oh. where these crazy queens answer questions, and well, I'll ask questions, and then I'll see if they can answer the questions. Crazy queen. While they're high and I'm high, and we'll see if we all know these. I don't know. Let's get into it. <laughs> I'm not high. If you know the answer, give just me blurt it out. No. Oh. Don't exactly don't do that. <laughs> Come on now. Give me an eh. Work. Because that's better, right? Okay. okay. Okay, cool. Let me do that. True or false? The word bimbo means baby boy. Eh. Um, yes. True. <laughs> bimbo began I as know an my facts. <laughs> really? Bimbo began as an it Italian word for little boys. In America, it became a term that intelligent men used to describe women who were seen as attractive and not smart. Mm, and really fucking sexy. Mm. Oh. That's an interesting how it got there. I yeah. Know. Weird. Yeah. History. Next question. BTS is one of the most popular K-pop groups. What does BTS stand for? <gasps> eh. What? Pang Tan Sonyo? What does that mean? Boys of the Bang Tank. I don't know. In English? Yeah. I don't know. I only know the Korean version. I really don't listen to K-pop as much as I should. I like Red Velvet. Wow. And, um, Very oh. naughty. Taze. Naughty. naughty. The I like is, the I believe me. the English answer is Bulletproof Boy Scouts or what? Beyond the Scene. <laughs> what was the first thing ever sold on the internet? Porn. <laughs> Sorry, wait, no. <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna take a the crack at it. <laughs> what? Um, animals? What? Like a horse? <laughs> no? Oh, shit. No. The correct really? answer is weed. Really? Yeah. That would make sense with this show. Show us the face that your family would make if they found your grinder slash 
dating slash sex app profile. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> oh, I was doing the buzzer sound because I wanted to oh, be okay. chosen. <laughs> <laughs> you thought that I was just making that sound yeah. and that was the reaction. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Um. Okay. Who is that? Your mom? Yeah, definitely. She go. And then she goes. <laughs> pretend it doesn't exist. Pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. For me, um, my mom would probably just be like. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's cool as hell. What is the gayest song of all time? <laughs> Toxic. Toxic. I don't know. Okay. No. These are open ended. There's no more. I don't game. know. What is your mm. gayest song? My coming out song was Take Over Control by Afrojack. Did and it was high. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So I just remember feeling like in the club song. at like 17 or whatever, and I was just like, mm. oh, I feel so free. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> I would probably have to say, finally, by C.C. Tennyson. 90s yeah. house. Yeah. I was going to say Crystal Waters too, but I was like, I just. It's my on brand. I thought that'd be too. You really need me, baby. Get on Good one. Of course. Every drag me ever. <laughs> Who from Pose would you pick to be your drag mother? Um, oh yeah, Electra, Electra down. Electra. Yeah. Y'all do that as 100%. Yes. I do on a daily, would, Camilla's it daughter. Would make me a <laughs> <laughs> it would make me a better person. Not a better person. I thrive under pressure. Who listens to Robin the most out of the three of us? You? <laughs> I don't know. Probably me, I have Actually, yeah, vinyl. probably you. If Auntie Chan was here, it'd be Chan. It would definitely be Auntie yeah. Chan. You would really like Between Impact. The Lies. I, I love, love that song. I love that song. Everything. Still uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> I want Who was the first openly gay figure skater to compete? Ooh. Openly? Yeah. The first openly gay was Adam Rafani. But Rudy Galindo was also one of the first openly I'm sorry to this man. I do not know this man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I love you, Ronald. Thank you for repping. <laughs> <laughs> what oh strain of weed is your favorite? I have a couple. What are your faves? Um, so I really, I'm a sativa person during the daytime. Uh so during the day, I've been really enjoying Redheaded Stranger, Ooh. which is also just like a sexy name. Yeah. Like. Who doesn't love a redheaded stranger? Hello. And um, but then I also love you know like the classics um, like Sweet Dream and I always love a good purple moment. Naturally, I got a Socon brand. Yes, so. yes, yeah. stay on brand, ladies. Yeah. Okay, your final question. Erica Badu had an instant named after her creature. Yeah. Oh, She's sorry. Dead. I thought the answer was supposed to be her pussy. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was so name. excited. If there was an instant name after your private parts, what would it be called? Oh my god. Mm. Caribou. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like Alaska. Sure. Like a moose knuckle, but it's like okay. a caribou. Sure. Something a little different and yeah, fun and fresh. <laughs> It's the, lemon, <laughs> it's the lemon bar for me. Mm. <laughs> Glamour pussy. Ooh, Ooh, much better. Much yeah. better than caribou. <laughs> that would, that than would caribou. actually sell. <laughs> I would purchase that product. Caribou. Mm -hmm. yeah. Caribou. Purchase Macy's near you. Macy's. Girl. Caribou. <laughs> hey, that was the pop up magic. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Tanali, Ramona, thank you so much for hanging out with me and dishing on the couch. I really appreciate you. Ramona, thank you so much for these lovely puff puff. Oh my days. gosh, of course. It's my pleasure. Do you guys have anything to plug? Denali. Well, you can follow me on all my socials at Denali Fox, D N A L I F O X X. That's two X's except for Twitter because I had a DMCA and they canceled my first account. No. Oh. I know. I'm going to talk about it. Just one X on Twitter. But yeah, follow me on all the socials. I have a lot of new projects coming out and a lot of new YouTube content. Everybody, so, you want to plug yourself again? 
Sure, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Venmo at Ramona Slick, and then on TikTok, Ramona X Slick. I, I, I hate kids. <laughs>